Hey guys, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to another day and another video full of information that I hope will benefit you. Today's subject is redundancies. Now, redundancies will happen in no matter what industry that you're talking about. Now, what exactly is a fragrance redundancy? Now, the definition of fragrance redundancy that we're going to be going by today is something that's been recently released that is too similar to something that already exists, whether it is a flanker or just another fragrance out there and is not unique enough to substantiate its existence. In other words, why purchase it when you already have something that's better or something that's exactly like it? So when we come back, we're gonna talk about five fragrance redundancies that exist right now and how you can avoid it and what you should buy instead. That and more is coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So today we're talking about five fragrance redundancies, that is fragrances that have been rendered insubstantial, whether it's an older fragrance that's been invalidated by a new release, or it's a new release that's been rendered useless by a previous flanker or something that already exists that's just too much like it or even better. So let's go ahead and jump into our list of five redundancies. The very first fragrance we're gonna talk about came out in 2012. The fragrance that I'm referring to is Versace Eros. Eros is and was a very popular fragrance, the most popular fragrance by Versace for men. But that all changed in 2020 when Versace Eros Eau de Parfum was released. Now, this is a combination of mint, green apple, ambroxan, bourbon vanilla. That's kind of everything that makes up the formula of Eros. And so when in 2020, the Eau de Parfum version was released, that was mint, candied apple, something called Amber Max, leather and vanilla. And it was a fantastic combination. I also had some lemon in there that was supremely fresh and that kind of rendered Eros redundant. So 2020, the release of Eros Eau de Parfum kind of killed the Eau de Toilette. But in 2021, along came Eros Parfum. Eros Parfum is by far the best version of the Eros DNA. It contains Elemi resins, benzoin, cashmere, and vanilla. This is the resin-based version of the Eros DNA. And again, it's by and large the, the best version because not only does it have that extremely popular Eros DNA, it's also Eros cold weather answer to the fragrance. It has overall a better scent profile and better performance. It is a bit pricier than the Eau de Toilette, so you'd still be better served purchasing the Eau de Toilette if you're on a budget, but if you can afford it, and overall, I think it's gonna be better in the long run for you in terms of, of monetary, because this will last a lot longer, you're getting a better product, you're getting a better Eros in the Parfum edition. So in my opinion, there's absolutely no reason to purchase Eros unless, again, you're on a really tight budget and you still want that Eros DNA. Our next fragrance redundancy is from the house of Zadig and Voltaire, and it happens to be a new release entitled This Is Him, Vibes of Freedom. Vibes of Freedom is a flanker of the This Is Him DNA, but the problem with it is it should be vibes of dilution. And I don't mean delusion, I mean dilution, something that's diluted or watered down. Because even though this particular fragrance out of all the flankers is a bit more true to the original notes that make up This Is Him, it's just too little of it. If you were to dilute the This Is Him DNA and into four parts, this would be a fourth of the DNA. It's extremely light. If you're gonna spray something on, even if you want something that's gonna be office friendly, it just doesn't carry enough of that. You're better served purchasing This Is Him and wearing it instead of Vibes of Freedom. However, compared to another This Is Him flanker, This Is Redundant, the flanker that I recommend purchasing instead of Vibes of Freedom is This Is Love. This is Love Poor Louis is by far the best flanker in the This Is Him line of fragrances, at least in my opinion. It's essentially a very strong, staunch combination of bergamot, orange blossom, and sandalwood. This is a sandalwood-based fragrance. If you're a lover of all things sandalwood, you really enjoy This Is Love. And again, it's much stronger than Vibes of Freedom. It performs better, it lasts longer, it's more versatile, all the above. This Is Him Pour Louis by Zadig and Voltaire. Our next fragrance redundancy, though I hesitate to use the word redundancy in this case because it is a Giorgio Armani fragrance or a subsidiary of Giorgio Armani, which is Emporio Armani, 
in the Stronger With You line of fragrance, it is the brand new release Stronger With You Only. It's not necessarily a redundant fragrance. If you think Stronger With You is the best fragrance line out there, then obviously you're gonna wanna own this. Basically what this is is similar to Vibes of Freedom, it's just a bit watered down. That wonderfully aromatic Stronger With You Gourmand profile, it's too much of a reduction of what we originally loved about the Stronger With You line. While it keeps the core base of glazed chestnuts and vanilla, it tries to have a citrus open be the primary constituent that is different about this, but it doesn't feel like it gets much of that right without being too diluted. In my estimation, the better get in the same line would be Stronger With You Freeze. Stronger With You Freeze has all of the things that you like about the Stronger With You DNA, but it also has that nice citrus open. It also is a bit more complex and intelligent than just a simplified Stronger With You only. So while it invokes that citrus open, it becomes much more varied over time and therefore more versatile. So you can use this in more situations, more scenarios, and in more seasons than you can Stronger With You only. And it also has that really cool early on, that hot and cold variation that is also pretty cool and pretty enjoyable. Although overall, it just ends up being kind of a plot device that goes away. Stronger With You Freeze is by and large a better fragrance and renders Stronger With You only pretty much redundant. Our next fragrance redundancy happens to also be a brand new release in 2022 by the house of Hugo Boss. It is Hugo Boss Bottled Marine. I'm a big fan of Hugo Boss fragrances. I think they have a lot of fragrances that are performance challenged. This happens to be a little bit performance challenged, but the problem with Hugo Boss Bottle Marine is while it is enjoyable, it's just extremely uninspired. The biggest caveat in this is frozen apple. But I can tell you right now, if you walk out to an apple orchard during the winter and you press your nose up against a frozen apple and take a deep breath, you're not going to really smell anything that's going to be that's going to necessitate actually creating a frozen apple accord. There's not really anything behind frozen apple. It's just kind of a fantasy note or a fantasy idea and they don't really carry it forward. For those of you like myself that really enjoy the smell, the, the fresh, crisp, fruity smell of an apple accord or apple note instead of getting boss bottled marine you would be better served in getting a valentino fragrance called valentino womo born in roma coral fantasy the worst thing about this fragrance of course is the name it's a long name and coral fantasy doesn't really pertain to what you're actually getting in this fragrance other than the color the color coral kind of reminds me as time goes on and as i smell this it becomes associated with the idea of what happens when you bite into a crisp red apple and you get this striation of, of red and, and white together and that kind of becomes somewhat of a coral color. I know that's a stretch. The pure crisp sweet apple accord in Coral Fantasy is bookended by a dank tobacco absolute and a very rich vetiver and patchouli. It's kind of the one-two punch in this knockout scent. Sure you're going to spend more on Coral Fantasy than you will on Boss Bottled Marine which is a relatively inexpensive fragrance even as a new release, but in the long run, you're gonna save yourself not only aggravation, but also money. And this will satisfy you throughout the entirety of what might've been a bad experience and turn it into a good experience, a fantastic experience. I've really enjoyed this and I think you will too. Valentino Womo, Born in Roma, Coral Fantasy. All right, guys, the last of our fragrance redundancies, number five out of the, the five that we're looking at today for men's fragrance is actually a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance. And I've got a lot of questions about my opinion on this, and I'm going to go ahead and answer it in this video instead of addressing each of you guys individually who have asked me. So my opinion of the Dolce & Gabbana limited edition release of Light Blue Italian Love Pour Homme is that it is a redundant purchase in view of the Light Blue Forever. Home. Now, when I first did my first impressions of Italian Love, and I'll go ahead and link it above here in case you're interested in seeing more detail on that, I was actually quite shocked at how much it, it smelled like light blue forever. But really, when you consider what a limited edition is, it's the same thing as the previous fragrance. It's just a slight derivation or a bit of a difference. The primary difference in Italian Love is honestly, it's got less grapefruit in the open and it has the addition of green notes that change the heart and change the, the end results in the dry down, which is not a bad thing. I mean, it's a very enjoyable fragrance I, and I like it, I like it. However, if you already own Light Blue Forever, 
there's really no reason at all to get Italian love because you're literally getting the same thing. You're just getting this very slight variation in the open, less grapefruit, in the hard and the dry done. You're getting green notes added to the ozonic and, and the darker, you know, base notes. It's not a lot of difference. It's some. And if you have money to burn, go ahead and get it. And if you like the entire line, go ahead and get it. But again, for most of us, forever will be all we'll need. Now, if you don't own either and you like the idea of green notes and something that feels a bit more tropical rather than oceanic, then you might want to get Italian Love instead of Light Blue Forever. Light Blue Forever is an eau de parfum. This is an eau de toilette, so that's another difference in the two. But this one feels a bit more fruity, oceanic, and this one feels a bit more green tropical with the fruit being an adjunct instead of a, a main talking point. Those are the differences. Again, in my book, for those of us that already own forever, it's not really gonna be necessary to purchase Italian love. Well guys, that's it for my five redundancies for men's fragrance. There are a lot more out there. I just wanted to bring these glaring obvious ones to the forefront and help you become aware of them if you weren't already aware of them and most of you probably already are if there are other redundancies out there that you feel in your opinion let me know what your thoughts are of those in the comments below but I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out today's video and as always thank you so much for your support on my channel we're almost at 13,000 guys just a few more let's go ahead and push it for those of you that haven't already subbed make sure that you check it out and that you see that word subscribed if not go ahead and subscribe and that'll push me over the edge into 13k again guys thanks so much i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you tomorrow